think they enjoyed that. <laughs> You've changed your style from those early days, haven't you? Uh, yes, the alarm have constantly been changing and updating uh, everything that we've done musically over the, over the years that we've been together. Mm. Now, I was told by someone today that you weren't called the alarm when you were first, when you first got together. What were you called? Um, uh, we were called uh, something's probably best not said on television. I uh, tell them. <laughs> the toilets. Yeah, that's right, yeah. We were flushed with success. <laughs> Now, yes, and fresh from your success at the St. David's Hall, that was a, a roaring success on Sunday night. Yes, it was a very powerful, uh, powerful night uh, for, for ourselves as a group to see the kind of reaction that, that uh, people had for the band. And it's a special evening, too, because all proceeds go to the Welsh Language Society. <coughs> That's right, yes. We're, we're trying to uh, make people aware of, 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 re aware of their Welshness and how they can get involved to keep the language uh, alive. And the same goes for the concert that you did in London on Monday? Yes, um, we, we took the, the ideas uh, to, to London and we sang in, in Welsh to a London audience uh, for a certain part of the set. And uh, we've tried to explain to them some of the things that are happening in Wales. Mm. And uh, people are, are very aware of what is going on here and are, are, are definitely uh, uh, supportive. And I think that uh, the English-speaking population of Wales have sometimes been uh, ignored and, and the, the, the message of Welsh Wales has often uh, not, not reached as far as that, and we hope to change that. Mm, well, I think it's the perfect way to get a message through, actually. But in Wales, I suppose that um, pop music and cultural issues have always gone hand in hand, really, haven't they? Especially through the medium of the Welsh language. But it hasn't always been the same with English bands all over the world. But it, are things changing? Uh, I think what has happened in, in the last 10 years is, is uh, musicians have realised the importance of links with, with organisations like Amnesty International, or in the case of ourselves, with the, the Language Society. The Alarm are about to embark on a, an American tour next week, and we won't be here to continue the day-to-day -day struggle to keep the language alive, but the Society will be. And mm. that's why it's important that our audience and the awareness that we can generate can be channeled on a day-to-day -day basis by an organisation that is going to be here every single day. Mm. But your association with the Welsh Language Society doesn't stop here, though, does it? No, I, I, I'm learning the language myself, and uh, hope to become fluent o over the next couple of years. And uh, we will continue to support them and, and continue to support the Welsh language. Isn't there a special event um, arranged for next year sometime? Well, we don't know. You know, it, it, it's what we're doing is, is very new. That The bilingualism uh, that the Alarm have, have, uh, adapt, have adopted with this new record is could, could go in many different directions. And uh, I hope that, that we can stage something next year which, which will encourage the, the language to, to have more of uh, a, an awareness become mm. more uh, used in in wales today how's uh, your welsh knows? getting on uh dusky ridden dusky shadow can ride learning yes right how are you learning uh i have um, tapes uh, uh, especially when i go on tour i'll be uh, rec uh, having recorded tapes to learn from and uh, my wife helps me a lot with the, with the language and i hope that possibly in the next uh, in the next free time that I have, I can go to somewhere like Nant Cathay and, uh, and do a course, uh, an intensive study course in the language. Yes, that's a language centre. That's it? right, yes. Yes. Uh, th the thing is that I think most people get confused with the Welsh Language Society, the Nationalist Party, and most of all, what really concerns, I think, most Welsh people is that they get confused with the arsonists. Now, you made a very impassioned speech, didn't you, last weekend about this? Uh, that's right, yes. I, I, I do believe that if the arson campaign intensifies and, and carries on, that, that we are at the point where a life may be taken and that is something that will set the the, the welsh language struggle back in, indefinitely uh, and will will seriously damage the work that uh, an organization like the language society uh, have done over the last 25 years mm. and uh, of course nobody's sure if they are welsh people anyway do they well that, that's true I, I don't think they are welsh people i don't think anyone in wales wants to see bloodshed and, and wants to take up arms in in the name of wales mm, but there is a lot of ignorance uh, um there was one lady in my hometown the other day who said to me, it's that oh, I'm and I had to point out to her nicely that he had been dead for a few hundred years. <laughs> yeah. So it couldn't possibly be him. Anyway, back to your tour of America. Where, when are you going? Next week? Uh, yes, we start uh, next Saturday. We, we actually start in, uh, in Canada first, in Vancouver, and we move uh, for about six weeks throughout the uh, North America. And uh, who's going with you? Uh, well, the whole band will we'll be all out there. Uh, our record is currently uh, the number one rock album in America at the moment. So, um, so it's the right time to go. Yeah, the, and the tour is sold out. So there's a, a tremendous interest in the alarm and, and, and the, the roots element of what we do. People in America are, are very interested in their roots. Mm. And a lot of people uh, uh, have an affinity with us coming from Wales. 
Well, good luck with the record and good luck with your tour of America. And Mike, uh, we'll be hearing you and the band before the end of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Peters. Thank you.